Hello and welcome to our Divine Light Healing Circle. Today, there is a lot going on in the atmosphere and um, we have to deal with pressure from electromagnetic stressors in the earth and from solar storms and earthquakes and many other extreme heat extreme weathers, extreme flooding. So there's a lot of extremes going on. All these things have also to do a little bit with the axial shift, but we are not here to uh, lecture today, but to help people on our healing list and to make ourselves strong enough and flexible enough at the same time to allow shift to happen, change to happen and maybe even to be part of a facilitator of shift and change. And for that, you can see in the background some major energies we are going to work with, the red for energizing certain aspects in us, the blues for bringing calm to the nervous system. And then you see here the grids, and this grid here in the crown has to do with bringing in all aspects of ourselves and other dimensions and other aspects which can help us to be the best version of ourselves here and to bring support to our physical body, emotional body, mental body, spirit body, and also to other people through us into the world. That's what we're here to do. So without further ado, I would like us to close the eyes and bring in golden light from the universal oneness through the solar system, through the sun, however you want to draw the golden light to you into the top of your head, into every single cell of your brain, eyes, nose, mouth, throat and neck, doing a swirl in the neck and it flows further into the shoulders, arms, hands, and out of the fingertips, along the spine and muscle structure in the back. Golden light flows into the heart and chest, opening both wide solar plexus to make it more radiant. Whole digestive system, hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and through the feet into the ground like roots, all the way down to the core center crystal of Mother Earth. And then from the heart, it overflows into our aura, our electromagnetic field, smoothing over all energy holes and strengthening our energy field. And with every single breath, our aura gets wider until it fills your workroom, your room you're in right now. And then you're bringing in red magma light from the core center of Mother Earth, bringing it all the way, breathing it through the feet and the feet chakra and energizing your feet consciously letting go of any electromagnetic stressors by grounding you by opening the feet chakra and letting a, li a red light in to energize and all stressors go into mother earth for recycling and then bringing the red light all the way up the calves and knees all the way up to the root and there we tie up the gold and red together. The gold comes from above and the red comes from below. And in your first chakra, your root chakra, they intermingle. And as the gold mingles with the red coming up, we see the red gold sparkling light energizing 
everything below us, Mother Earth, our feet, making our steps sure on our path, and the red and gold combination with many golden sparkles we bring also into the second chakra, which is normally orange, but here it will take from the nurturing red just to be energized, where anything is com depleted to complete the energy flow that through the red energy, the chakra bloom of the second one can shine bright and orange. And when we bring the red gold sparkling light into the solar plexus doing the same. It's almost like a stream of electromagnetic energy where our system, our chakras can plug into the stream to be the best version of themselves here, the solar plexus, having a beautiful yellow, golden sun front and back, nurtured by the grounding energy of the earth, supported by the spiritual energies from above. Same with the heart. Whether you see your heart chakra being in green or pink, or green and pink maybe together, also those plug into their energy stream of red and gold together, energizing and widening everything, and this tingling, energizing red and gold brings loving energy, supportive energies from Mother Earth and the Divine to plug in into more life force. And then the throat, the blue chakra takes from this nurturing red golden light too, to make its blue even stronger and more shiny and more white and more light. So does the purple the third eye center takes from this nurturing energy stream, which goes all the way like a snake up our spine, energizing all the chakras front and back, even the third eye. And then the crown with this shimmering aqua aura crystalline light streams, when your crown is open, it really looks like a crown, shining bright into your surrounding. And even that gets nurtured to be able to hold open, strengthening the openness to divine guidance. And then like a fountain, the red golden light flows from the top of our crown all the way on the outside of our body, nurturing every single cell of our body, our skin, our muscle structure, or our arteries and veins, our bones, all that physicalities and nurturing support by the golden red shimmering combination. And this little shimmering, glistening, sparkling particles have their own intelligence. They have tiny divine intelligence. And in previous Healings, we call them little nanites because they're repairing, fixing which is broken to bring it with divine intelligence back 
into divine order, whether it's skin, bones, muscle, organs, blood vessel functions, blockages, whatever it is, what you need to have repaired, these little gold sparkling nanites with intelligence, together with the power of red, can fix, align, and moderate any problem in your body. But it might also be sponsored by emotional problems, your physical problems. So you can ask your organ or skin or whatever the difficulty is, what are you standing for? What needs aligning? What needs balancing? What needs to be coming in harmony? I want to give love and I receive love and I receive repair. I receive harmonizing energies. And with this fixing and balancing ourselves, while that's going on, we bring in the blue, strengthening the nervous system so that there is no burnt out syndrome and that we are not getting nervous about the future or aggravated about other people and their opinionatedness or viewpoints or whatever it might be. Whoever goes onto our nerves, that the nerves these people walk upon can calm down. And the blue light comes from the universal oneness into the top of our head and our crown and flows through every single part of our body easily and naturally to where nerve strings and strands are out of alignment. This beautiful deep blue, calming, centering our body, mind and spirit so that we can absolutely be centered in our divine light and divine birthright as it flows through our body and through our feet all the way down to the core of Mother Earth so that also Mother Earth can partake of these blue healing frequencies. And they might also calm down some of the inner crackings of our earth where she tries to expel all that what we pumped into her toxics, emotional imbalances, whatever it might be, what she had to endure. Shifting axis, shifting perspectives, shifting everything to a new level. But it doesn't have to be harsh. It can be calmed down and do gradually in steps as Mother Earth access tills gradually, gently, almost unnoticeably. And at this moment in time, we are calling in all light beings and helpers who would like to assist us in the healing process. Upcoming for the people on our list, our planet, our families, our environment, 
We're calling in all light beings, guiding ones, guardians, and any kind of helper of a higher dimension with the highest intention to help and to be of the highest consciousness field to uplift our existence to a higher order. Notice who you have to your right and notice who you have to your left and other light beings who might support you from your back, front, below or above to not only keep you safe but also to support you energetically. And for that particular purpose of energetic support we are bringing in aspects of ourself which we can use in the upcoming time, aspects of learning, aspects of ourselves which we have had already accomplished, parts of us from higher dimensions which can help us now to be whole here in oneness here and represent oneness. Everything is on a multidimensional basis. So we're bringing in aspects fragmented away from us in time and space, back to alignment to the greater whole that we can represent the greater whole and shine our inner light more brightly from the inside out. So we are bringing in silver sparkling light, white sparkling light, or any frequency, color, how your fragmented selves want to come back to you. Like a little grid, like a little network, which wants to back integrate itself into you. All the missing pieces coming in. You breathe these missing pieces in as they settle within you easily and naturally, giving you a feel of more wholeness and oneness. And along these glittering strings and strands which lead into us through our crown, we are not now going up through the crown along these glittering strands. to a place in time and space where we can learn a particular quality, learning about a particular quality we need for the upcoming time on this planet. We are going up And almost like last time, I'm seeing a crystalline structure again. But this time it feels not natural. It feels created, artificial, artificially created for the purpose of understanding our part in the upcoming alignment and harmonizing process. You might see light me, a pyramid kind of shape with certain indentations or a vogel crystalline shape again with a lot of facets. It might be a structure of a crystalline created shape. 
like in our crystals, which we call wisdom keeper crystals, similar to that, I'm told. And within this Wisdom Keeper crystal, as we are floating into it, we are receiving right now information, symbolism, or healing energies, whatever you need to play your part in the upcoming time. I let you explore now what is going to be told to you, given to you, to receive and use. And as the energy is shifting to a higher dimensional frequency level, when you feel burning anywhere in your body, make sure you're well grounded. Maybe some beings want to merge with you. Allow only those of the highest intentions for the betterment of all. Same with the symbols. You might also feel to be more drawn to the light as if you're sucked in by a light tunnel to see more light, to hold more light, to be more light. almost to another galaxy in time and space where a similar planet to ours underwent the shift we are about to face. Bring in support from there for you, your family, your country, your nation. from the ones who support us in time and space, whether it's ancestors or spirit family,
for beings who went through the shift before us. Absorb information. Absorb healing. Absorb wisdom. And slowly and gently, we are drawn back all together to one particular place, which is also a crystalline structure, a pyramid again, in time and space. This pyramid looks like a huge glass pyramid. And on its floor is a map of galaxies. We can see nebulas, stars, planets, so many as if we were sitting or floating on galaxies itself. And when you look down, you can see stars, galaxies, and nebulas. And at this moment, while we have arrived there in this glass-like amplifying pyramid with the floor being the universe, people from our list are brought up to that same place. And this pyramid space is so big that it takes all the hundreds of people we have on our list. And everyone on of our list can take their power space in the cosmos. People who have suffering under cancer might place themselves into an area in a cosmic field where cancer is long gone and healed. And so the beings who associate with such field come and help these cancer afflicted people to balance out and heal what needs to be healing. Same with the emotional distress of various kinds. Everyone on our list goes to the place in the cosmic field where the best possible healing is obtainable. Same with all the other physically mentally or spiritual afflicted people from our list. Everyone finds their place. And as everyone settles down into the respective field of healing, transformation is happening. Beams of light come from anywhere and everywhere. Streaming information. As if we are little mini computers who need to be reprogrammed to a better performance. Beings 
this place with this cosmic field as the bottom of the pyramid is like a plug-in generator to upgrade our energy bodies for a better operation As you are undergoing this transition, you might feel peace flowing in, harmony flowing into you with every single breath. Worries you might have had might not matter anymore. Concerns you might have had fall away. Just pure bliss and beingness. Just be in this moment, in this vastness of existence. Enjoy this connectedness to these many fields of expressions of source. There's nothing wrong with you. You just are. And you are naturally draw to you what you need for this upgrade to better experiences and functioning. In this field which you draw to you, you might see many beings or you might observe scenarios like movies. Whatever it is you see, do not judge, just observe. You are the observer. Just being free of all worries or concerns. Observers in this moment of time and space. Nothing to do. Just to be. And this being this pulsates through you. And you understand and get a glimpse of eternal, everlasting love and light. you might embrace the whole of existence all there is 
all the aspects of existence. They are not personal, happening to you. They are just an experience. And wherever you look, there are so many different experiences waiting for you to have or to let go or to draw to you or to just acknowledge as they float through your vastness of being. You might feel expanded to the point of being the galaxies, being the universe. You're a speck of it, but you also, everything is in you, you're in it. You look from the inside out, you look from the outside in. Give what the universe needs from you. Receive from the universe what you need. Let your spirit fly free. You are free. Remember this powerful feeling and sensation of this vastness of freedom. You can be anything or anyone at any time in any space. But right now you chose to be on planet Earth, being part of the shift to a next experience. As you've received so much information that it's almost overloading, we are told to come back into more condensed form. All the people on our list will also be brought to their respective bodies in time and space to integrate their shift to their higher life standard. We ask to come back, fly back into our bodies. Maybe you do it spreading your wings like a bird. Maybe you do it by just gliding down the strand of light. Maybe you're just shifting a focus. 
and are attracted into the temple of your physical form. Breathe yourself back into your body. Breathe yourself back into your physical form. Which waits kindly till you receive your spirit again to be a vessel of your spirit. And bring in the joy with you, which you felt from the freedom up there. And as you're now reintegrating yourself into the physical form, say to yourself, I accept my fate. I live in acceptance. I don't resist the flow. I don't resist existence. I let existence flow through me as it's meant to be. And with that acceptance and conscious acceptance of our guiding ones and guardians, we're thanking them for coming and thanking the ones on our right and thanking the ones on our left above us and below us and integrating all that into our heart what was given to us today Till next time.